Nelson right there in the background. Um, this weekend has been really, really chill, and I, uh, I have not been wanting to put makeup on my face. I'm trying to get my skin as clear as possible for eye mats this weekend coming up, um, or this week, next week, however you look at it. So this is going to be a bare-faced um, favorites, and I'm going to do a quarterly report bare-faced, so deal with it. This is my face. Um, but yeah, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I do not have a lot of favorites at all. Like, seriously. Um, just because I have been rotating shopping my stash. Because, you know, like, right before I'm at, I go on a really serious, like, like, I don't want to say no buy, but low buy. And, like, just not even looking into makeup stores. Like, not even looking. So, sometimes you get in a rut if you don't get anything new. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, I got my sweet peach. Um, but, like, you know how I just shop things occasion. I always use my new things and everything. So, like, I've been really shopping my stash because I've been trying to keep my mind off of all the other makeup out there. Um, so, anyway. So, it hasn't been, like, one thing or anything that I've been consistently using. I have a couple, but I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and tell you. I feel like I'm rambling. First one is my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. This is in the shade medium to dark. I actually really do enjoy this palette now. Um, I did not. I, ha I still have gripes about it. I feel like they need a darker version. There are women darker than me. Because this is definitely a light contour for me. Very subtle. Very pretty. And that's what I've been going for. Very beautiful. But it's still light. Um, sorry. My phone. Still, still light. Um... In that element like if you are this is what the contour shade looks like it's cool it's pretty it works for my skin uh, like again very light very natural for me but I mean we like dramatic contour like we should have that option women of my shade and darker we like that option of going even a little bit more dramatic with our contour and this does not give that but it has been really nice every day it's kind of one of those things where you can't mess up I know some people are worried about like you know you blend your contour or like you know what I'm saying just not getting it right a powder you can do too much it's really subtle and it's enough where if you kind of mess up or you're not perfect with it you can um get away with it so and that's like quick in the mornings i've really been enjoying this because it gives me that contour but if i'm not super perfect with it you really can't tell and i really do enjoy that and i just take a brush and i um go in with this part go in here hollows of the cheeks i said this part and then around my forehead uh, i use a small brush i don't use the sculpt um pretty much at all i'll set my under eye with it very very rarely and this highlight I rarely use although it is pretty I just don't reach for the entire palette like that but the contour shade I'm in it all the time so that is a favorite for this month <sighs> my room is a complete mess and I need to clean it it's it's crazy but I'm at this on Friday so yes all right anyway um the next item which I can't find it's for my brows. I'm going to just show you one then. Alright, is my dip brow. Um, I have been going through different brow products trying them out. I, I actually, I'm in the process of like, I rotate through pencil, powder, and my gel cream dip brow. Um, and my brow, dip brow has actually become a favorite. I've really been getting into using it. I have three colors of dip brow now. Um, so chocolate, it's a lot missing because I use it to mix with something else. I was trying to experiment. Don't mind that. So chocolate is what I use when my hair is dark. Because I like my brows lighter than my hair. When my hair was jet black. Um, so chocolate is what I use. And then I got Auburn when I dyed my hair. And this is good like with the ombre brow. I don't really use this on my brows by itself. I use it towards the front. But my perfect shade is actually dark brown. Um, and I, I just bought it actually. And I don't know where it is. Um, but dark brown. Um, I've been using the dark brown Anastasia brow pencil and I ran out but I like the dip brow better right now and so I bought the dark brown dip brow but just the dip brow in itself I use the um, angle brush that Anastasia Beverly Hills sells um, for it again I'm a mess you guys and now saying I'm a mess here it is number 12 brush this is what it looks like really small really um hard and stiff and it works to do my dip brows. So I've really been enjoying that getting really uh, filled in. Not necessarily thick and bold but definitely filled in and um, so what I'm looking for. Can't think of the sculpted brows. That's not the word I was looking for but whatever. The next thing um, that I've been doing I have been 
I don't want to say I've been getting less sleep, but I've been extra tired. Like, I've been doing a lot. I joined the gym. Ooh, ooh. I've been working out. I've just been doing a lot. I've just been tired. I've noticed it getting a little darker under my eyes. And it's not all the time. I don't have consistent dark circles. But when I do, I've been into color correcting. And Sephora has so many new color correctors in store. And I didn't buy any because I'm at. So, color correctors is on my list to buy. But my favorite one that I have been using, and I do enjoy it, is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is the color corrector in orange um orangey peach tones are really good for us women of color to, to correct uh purple they're opposite sides of the color wheel so deep blues and purple under eye circles and i use this first before i do foundation before i do concealer so i'll take and i'll put it on and blend it out and then i'll set it with a powder and actually the powder i like to set it with believe it or not is this one from silly cut city color it's a cc powder color correcting loose powder and it's actually orange as well and it just works and i like to set it set it with that and um then i'll do my whole cream concealer or whatever and just do the rest of my face but i really do enjoy it and it works so like two bucks but um i don't know if la girl will be at imats i know they have booze that sell la girl um, but City Color will be at IMAX, so definitely picking up on those cheap brands and shopping for them. All right, so the next thing I actually, um, I don't know, I don't know why I haven't used this one before. I feel like I have, but it's been a while. This is my ColourPop Shadow in Frisky, and I use this is a super beautiful, I call it a glitter bomb shadow, but it, it is beautiful. Look at it. And I have been wearing this on the lid with a, a good, a pretty color in the crease, probably a brown. I usually use a brown or a light um, taupe or peachy shade in the crease. And I put this all over the lid. My ColourPop shadows are the only shadows that last all day. And I don't have to um, wear a primer. And look at that shadow. It's called Frisky. And I put that on with my fingers. And I've worn it, oh my goodness, I don't know how many times this month. And I absolutely love it. So a repurchase of that is in order. So that's a Frisky. All right, the next favorite um, is fairly recent, but I love it enough to be a favorite. It is not the Sweet Peach palette in its entirety. It is just one shade in here, and that shade is Bellini. You can actually see me making a good dent in it already. That shade there. And it is a beautiful peachy shade, peachy gold dual chrome. That's what I'm calling it. Um, it's beautiful beautiful so and I love wearing this on the lid I've been wearing the entire palette with looks and I've also been wearing just that shade with other shadows in my collection and they both work can you see me and they both work really really well um but Bellini that shade is awesome and I wish Too Faced did singles I know they used to but I need them to put out singles because we already know peanut butter's on that list now I have summer yum puree um I think there's a shade in the PB and gel PB and jelly palette and now Bellini's on the list Too Faced singles in the future on my wish list on my wish list let's do it all right and then really quickly I know I mentioned these in a favorite as well but these little square containers I actually got these from Ulta and I looked on the Ulta's website to find the link to link it for you guys they're not there so they must only be in store and this is the clearly chic set of three stacking boxes I told you guys about them it comes with one tall box and two shallow boxes and the tall box works great for my Too Faced palettes um the only one that does the two place like metal tin ones. The only one that doesn't fit in there is the matte eye because that's the thicker cardboard box. But I love these to store on my small palettes. I have my Z palette minis in here with my naked basics and things like that. And I just really enjoy those. And I wanted to link it so you guys could see. But they are at my Ulta. So every time I go, I'm gonna pick up some more. And they're only ten dollars for the set of three. So um they're at my Ulta. So that's it. That's it for March favorites. I don't have a lot of favorites. Nelson, do you have any March favorites? Me? Am I a March favorite? Damn it. Third month in a row. Didn't make it. All right, guys. So um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave them down below. Until next time, I love you all. Bye. Nelson, say bye. There it is.